Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring on Playframe. I might still sound like this, but at least the thing is actually recording this time and that's good enough for me. It's the most important thing and I feel like we all agree about that. So, today the backtracking continues. Uh, we're almost done with Laernia. I did kind of forget the four belfries up here. I have another key for them. And now I want to remember where they will take me. Uh, let's see, this is the one that actually had a key in it. Let's check the others. One of them took us back to the starting zone, and that was fun. And I think that's this one. Yeah. The other two took me to two very different places, and one of them sounded more intimidating than the other. Uh... No... Does it say... Talisman ahead that didn't expect dead end. I mean, Talisman's great. You'll hear no complaints about that from me. Uh... I really thought that it... Actually, like... That something around here actually said... But maybe it was this. Night sky unceasing. Very cool. Uh, I thought I remember there being something a little more explicit around each of these, saying kind of like where they'd be going, but maybe not. Uh, <laughs> crumbling lands. Okay, that I kind of remember. And that sounds more scary, honestly. So, um... Night Sky Unceasing sounds pretty. I say we do that one. And if it's as much a dead end as that uh, one <laughs> message says, this may not take long. Here we go. But we're in. Let's see where it takes us. Oh. Blythe, I have great news. Wow. Uh, cool? Awesome? Didn't expect to be here? And I'm guessing the uh, dead end thing. <laughs> uh, uh, by the message saying dead end, I'm guessing I actually am not going to be able to get very far out here. Cool spot, though. Um, great views. Love the stars. Where can I go from here? Is there a path here? Because this looks pretty, uh... No. No, that's not a path at all. It's not even a floor. Uh, oh, this, this might work. Okay, if we head kind of downward from here, this might take me to a place. I like it here. Right now, because I've not gotten attacked by anything, but for the moment, super cool. I do see someone standing there, though. That's a little more intimidating. Uh, okay, I could probably drop there. Which looks like the safest option at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, boop. Okay, good, good. And, uh... This looks about right, just about, but let's find the path that won't kill us. Uh, that seems sketchy. Okay. This seems like it's going to be okay. Well, here, we'll do the trick. Sometimes it's worth doing the trick. All right, we're good. You know what? Maybe I'll put that... Uh, I do like having the fire grease there. I'm tempted to put it just on that slot, though. Yeah, actually, let's let's do Let's have uh, that just live on that slot so it's more accessible and easier to get to. Fire grease can go on the hot bar when I actually suspect I want it. Cool. 
so how far till we die? Because I really feel like it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. All right. We're making it. The coolest thing would be if I could find a grace fire out here. Before going and greeting that gentle person. Who may or may not be that gentle at all. Eh, anything? No? Okay. Boy, it's pretty. I really like it. You stay over there, please. Just over there. I have no qualms with you. Yet. Now this. What is this? Mottled necklace. Huh. Uh, okay, so that's the talisman, I'm assuming. Uh... Let's just look for it in here. Modeled necklace. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. That's pretty good. A vividly colored accoutrement, precious to the ancestral flowers. Raises immunity, robustness, and focus. Said to be a budding horn. The ancestral followers believed that the horns of a long-lived beast continued to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Cool. Yeah, that's... Seems like just the best of the antler horn items. Right? Because, like, there's a couple there just next to each other. We got one that boosts immunity, one that boosts robustness. This one does all of those, and focus also. <laughs> it's a little heavier, but, uh, just kind of seems like the best of the three. If I had another talisman slot, I'd probably, honestly, I'd use it for the jumping attack boost, but, um... A close second pick would be this other one. This is a terrible idea. What's up? Are we cool? It really doesn't look like we're cool. Yee. Hello. Cool gear. If I beat you, can I have it? I'm gonna, uh, do this. Ha-ha! Okay, is that my brilliance? Yeah! Go, you are a tough one, aren't ya? Yipes! Let's get out of there. Oh boy. Ow. Oh, I didn't expect to follow up. Well, you're a little tough for me right now, aren't you? There's a lot of runes left back there, but I can live with that. But now we can actually use that as a trick to see. Where is the place? It is... Actually, it's probably... Yeah, down here, it's... Ah, uh, I see. So we've actually been pretty close to there. We made our way through here, toward the river bank, and then didn't venture a whole lot further, but, uh... It's really just past there, out this way. Cool. We'll fight that dude later. And we're definitely coming down here pretty soon. But not yet. Right now... We've got... I guess I can go ahead and clear this since there's, uh, not another key available at the moment. I think our next stop for now is going to be, uh, the Weeping Peninsula. Because there are a couple of places where apparently bosses are out here. I don't think I've missed a whole lot else out here, honestly, or that I can tell or that anyone's mentioned, but... Uh, I did see on that little map that there were two bosses out here, and I'm wondering if they were, like, maybe another death bird or something? I don't know. Some people in comments said that I should come back here to fight something, so why not? It is backtracking day after all, so let's see about it. Actually, let's, in case it is just, like, spawns at night enemies, let's, uh, make it nighttime and then wander around, see if it makes a difference. Uh, Nightfall. Alright. Oh. Yeah, that worked. Well. Is that another... Knight Cavalry? Is that what I'm looking at right now? 
No, I was hoping it would do the special power-up move, but whatever, this is fine. What are you? Yep, you're not cavalry, all right. How tough. All right, all right, all right, I've... I've gotten a bit stronger. <laughs> so a lot of the bosses we fight today are probably going to be a little bit more pushovers. That's okay. That's the option Elden Ring gives you. We got a dragon back in Limgrave. We got another one of these dudes out on a bridge. We've got just a real nightmare of a thing near the starting location. Come on. And what happens to a knight cavalry when you take out their horse? I guess they're just... knight foot soldiers, then. Yeah, Keep whiffing. There we go. Ah, oh, I wanted to get in a... Yeet. Look at you with that... fancy weapon. And you're done. Alright. What do I get? Some runes and ooh, barricade shield, huh? Oh, and a Knight Rider flail. Cool. What do they do? Uh. So the flail is a dexterity weapon that causes blood loss. A flail with two additional bludgeoning heads, weapon of the Knight's cavalry who ride funeral steeds. The large spikes make it highly effective at inducing blood loss, but also demand high dexterity to wield. And spinning chain is the ability. Cool. That Ash of War, though, seems. Intriguing. I don't have a lot of shield ones, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I've got a few, I suppose. Barricade shield. Uh, this Ash of War grants no affinity to an armament, but imparts the following skill. Uh, made famous by Sir Nightheart, focus your energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Usable on all shields. That is interesting. So it's just like an even better block, I guess? We may try that out. I I've loved having the no skill on so that I can very quickly and easily use my uh, weapons Ash of War, but that's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Cool. Let me go back here real fast and uh, swap out my loadout just a little bit. Let's lose the Halberd because I don't think I can change the Ash of War on that. Uh, but on my sword, I could try one of our other toys. So, Ashes of War, sword, uh, let's try, I mean, Lorien's Magic Great Sword does seem, oh no wait, that's the weapon name, this is Glintstone Pebble, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, we've also got Glintstone Phalanx, which seems pretty cool as well, honestly. Maybe even cooler? Actually, that's kind of cooler, isn't it? Uh, Sacred Order... Chilling Mist and Bloody Slash are two definite hits. I am a big fan of both of those so far. And I liked a lot of these others as well, but it's hard to top those two. Let's give Glint Blade Phalanx another try, though. And keep it heavy. Yeah. And on you. Uh, so what are our options here? I guess we can't really see the description very well here. Vow the Indomitable uh, Shield Bash, but Barricade Shield is intriguing. Let's try that. Oh, goodness, we could change this too, though I guess there's not a... <laughs> like, I'm I'm almost never attacking with the shield, so we'll just, we'll keep you standard, I guess? I don't know, what is it now? It's just standard, yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Neat. Alright. Let's see what these look like. So, like, uh... On the shield... Ooh. Oh, is this an even, like, like... Oh, for just a little while, it's an even stronger blocking shield. That's interesting. I feel like I'm going to fail miserably to actually use that in times... Like, to be quick-witted enough to use it in times when I need it, given how short a window it is. But still, like, cool. For the sword... It's pretty cool having that as a melee fighter. Ah. It really feels like there's just so much more interesting build variety in this game than in all other FromSoft games. It's incredible. I love it. I got ghost swords. So that was one of the bosses. Uh, 
Where was the other one? Like, right around... Okay, just further south of here. Which could be, like, maybe there was another catacomb or something I missed. Or, like, a dungeon. Or, uh... Eh, it could be something underneath. Is it... What time of day is it right now? Is it night? It is night. So, like, if we're at a time of day when a nighttime enemy would attack, they'd probably attack right now. Either I marked this on the map and it was something that I actually did fight and I just forgot. Like, I have noticed that on that map that sometimes the enemies are located on the map where they are literally positioned in the world, which, like... So, like, to better explain, like, say, you go inside the Impaler's catacombs here. The boss marker isn't going to be here. The boss is going to be, like, underground, way under here, maybe somewhere. So, like, just having an overhead map doesn't give you, like, perfect information in that way. But. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone hiding up here? No. Okay, well, this one's a bust. Let's just say that I maybe fought the one that you guys were telling me about. That does seem like a really good shield, uh, Ash of War to have for the tanky thing I'm doing, so... Cool. Good find. I don't think there's much anything else in Weeping Peninsula in that case, so, uh... Let's just go ahead and clear these. And... I guess it's Limgrave time. We've got the dragon. We've got the other knight cavalry. We've got an Everjail that I just forgot about, I guess. Uh, maybe I did it. I don't remember. We found it at the very least. It's on the map, but huh. Uh, was this the other death bird? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We should probably check in with, um, no. Oh, Yura's back here. Let's check in with Yura. That, no. There. You're, uh, I've come for a visit. Didn't expect you to come back here. Just really like this spot, huh? Don't be a fool. Turn back before it's too late. Are we still talking about the dragon? Are you still on about that? Fine, I'm, I'll go fight the dragon, which is literally the opposite of what you said, but if that's what it takes to get you, like, going somewhere else. I'll fight a dragon. Where is it, anyway? Dragon. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh... I bet after those others, you're not going to be nearly so scary. We'll find out, though, huh? Here it goes! Dragon fights! Hello! Flying Dragon Akil. Ah. Okay. This looks doable. Health bar wise. So cool. It's awesome. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> Sorry, bystanders. Whoop. Okay, that's a lot of fire, though. Boy. You still pack a punch? Big guy. Whoop. Get in there, get in some swings. Yeesh. No bites. Ah, darn, that fire hurts. Probably should have equipped something that's a little bit more fire protected. I don't know what Karia armor does for fire defense. Huh, didn't realize you could target different parts of the dragon. That's pretty cool. Okay. Ow. Okay, feeling feisty. Fair enough. 
What is the fire defense on this? It's not terrible. I bet some other stuff... Well, maybe some other stuff doesn't have better. Twin armor does. It is heavier, though. Yeah, it is heavier. Some good defense, though. So we might be doing that. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Uh... Twinned gauntlets aren't better for fire, though, so we'll keep the Karian Knight stuff on. Yeah. And all this is going to put us at heavy, so we'll just not. Does look pretty cool, too. What an amazing piece of armor. It's really rad. Okay. Uh, we could also bring some equipment that'll protect against fire a little better. Uh, pack one of these. Use some of our actual spells and such. Actually use a rune arc. Yeah, this time we'll take it seriously. Alright. Still rolling just fine. Don't know if the dragon's mad yet, but we can uh, do one of these. And... Will this put us at heavy? Nope. Still good. We can do one of these as well. All right. Let's get in there. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. There was also the this. Now we're ready. What's up, dragon? I'm buffed up and ready for war. Also, my runes. Where'd you, where'd you leave those? Jerk. There we go. Okay. Fight times. Before the buffs wear off. I am so buffed up right now. You have no idea. Dragon. Eh. Excuse me. Yikes, buddy. I don't have to get in too many hits, but neither do you. Oof, boy. Torrent, you alright there? Sorry about the dragon stomps. Doing what I can, pal. This is going much better. Coming for you. One more hit. Woo. Yeah, that still hurts, all right. But not as much because of the consumable. What a good game. Come on, you. Eef. Sorry, Lance Squirt. And you're done. There we go. <laughs> what a little go-getter. And we got another dragon heart. Exciting. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, quite the scrapper, this little dragonfly. All right. Were you defending anything interesting up here? Hmm. Various materials, I guess, but I'm most interested now to hear if Yura has any more thoughts. Yura! I did not follow your advice, and I don't regret it. What do you think? Beautiful work. Felling that dragon. Thank you. And as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in Dragon Communion. Yes. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. Way ahead of you. You must not forget, though, those who partake in Dragon Communion 
will one day shed their humanity. Oh. Their hunger for dragon. Their yearning. Only worsens. Until the floodgates burst. Unleashing eternal torment. The strength of a mighty dragon. Magnificent. But deadly. It's no surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. You guys have all got to get so much better at actually discouraging me from doing dangerous things. Every single person in this world is terrible at it. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dry right. hunger for dragon until the flood the strength is no surprise. It's like you want me to do it, man. <laughs> now I'm curious. Anyway, we've done that now. And that's probably, well, I was going to say that's probably the most scary, eventful fight we're going to be encountering here, but uh, this whole thing was pretty intimidating too, so we'll see. First, let's deal with that Knight Cavalry. Uh, Selen would be someone good to talk to, wouldn't she? Given we just did a whole bunch out of the Academy. Let's talk to Selen. I don't know if she's going to say anything different. Maybe not, but... There you are. My apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? I wish all those little status bars wouldn't pop up constantly when you're under a rune arc's effect, but all right, nothing happening then. Fine. I don't know if I have to buy more things or if I need to find some other item or some other character. I'm not going to buy more things for now. I feel like there's better people to buy more things from. Let's see Kali. I bet Kali's got some more things. I'm not like more, more, like not new things. I'm just. Always a pleasure. I just really need to check in with these dudes now and then just to make sure there's nothing I left. Because I think, yeah, Kali, I got everybody, or got everything. But I really should go see these merchants again and make sure I didn't leave any, like, stone sword keys and stuff. Because I feel like I must have. That could probably happen off camera, though. Uh. Okay. Yeah, let's go here and make it nighttime and fight another night cavalry. Man, it's been like an actual month since we were out here. Maybe more. Big game. What a treat. Just a FromSoft game that feels like it never ends. Hello. And how much damage will you be taking today? Eh, fair amount. Can still dish a little bit out, though. And there goes your mount. Almost. There we go. And yeah, you're kind of a pushover at this point. That's fine. Sort of what I expected, honestly. Not now, dude. Uh, repeating thrust. Cool. All right. Neat. I'm guessing that's not going to be super interesting reading, but just in case. Uh, repeating thrust builds that... Okay, yeah, not super interesting. Also... Do you mind, rude people? Do you attack everyone you see reading a book? Alright. That's done. Let's go fight Deathbird while it's still nighttime. Deathbird, are you still out here? Weirdo. I feel like you were right around here. More or less. Are we further down this way? You were near like one of those little structures. I feel like. Huh, it's a shiny I missed earlier. I'll grab that in a sec, I feel like, but... Deathbird? Or maybe these are just like... No, I feel like I must have just not come up here. Huh, yep. Goodness. <laughs> the heck? What? Oh. Some of you little, like, ball worm things. I don't remember you exploded. No, I guess we have. We've run into an exploding one once, haven't we? Like, maybe out in Kaelin or something. Come on, guys. <laughs> Please. No. Hmm. Where did Deathbird attack us out here? Because I thought... Maybe it's further out... Well, 
Oh. Excuse me. Did you attack me? Or is something else aggro to me now? Oh, it's you. Quit it. Maybe Death would attack me further out here. Let's try that. I'd love to not have to fight a death bird and a bunch of giant trolls, but... We can take him. And death bird? There you are. Somewhere. Okay, there we go, here we go. Yep. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna be as scary. At all. <laughs> Yeah, fighting all mounted is actually not so bad. <laughs> Especially when I am very overleveled for you. Oh, I forgot to read about the branch sword last time, and now we have two to look at. Yay! Okay. Let's read about those. Uh somewhere safer. Let's go. Talk with you one more time. Just in case you're doing anything different. Uh, hello. Bell bearing hunter. This is not what I expected. Whoa. Yikes. My man. Cool shield slam thing you got going on there. What's happening? Whoa, that's awesome! Show me how to do that. You are so cool! Where'd you learn how to do all the cool things? Yeah. Look at all these cool moves you have. Alright, well what if I do this? Nope. Nope. No. Okay. Ow. Your moveset is one of the coolest ever. Hey, what happened to the other guy? Ow. I don't think that was a very good trade. <laughs> Whew, baby. Ow. Didn't think you had another follow-up going there. Yeesh. It is hard finding an opening for you here. Ugh. Ow, man. Woo! Yowza! It was a tough cookie we got here today, alright. Seems like we got us a fight then. All right. Uh, does anything need to be different? Hmm. Getting buffed up in advance won't hurt. Uh. That may be all we need to do, really, but... Yeah, getting a little buffed up in advance. I don't think I want this... Uh... Wait a minute! Excuse me. Did that only happen because I came back at night? Hey, explanation, please. Ah, hello. Glad to see you safe. I'm not. To learn a battle art or two. No, not anymore. I mean, no, no, not anymore. Well, until we meet again. That guy was a lot bigger than you, but you're suspicious. Okay, um, I'm gonna change my loadout real fast. I'm glad I have the cool shield ability. I don't want it right now. Uh, let's go back to no skill. 
Do I want the sword with something special? Maybe I do, actually. Uh, like, I could beat him for sure with the, uh... We'll try Glint Blade Phalanx. I don't have high hopes for it <laughs> in this encounter, but, yeah, you know, could be fun. Uh, okay. And pass time until nightfall. Okay. And then stand up and equip. Okay. Uh huh. All right. It's not him. Wait. Where's the other guy? Bring the other guy back. Wait. I waited till nightfall, right? Till nightfall. Hey. There we go. Yeah, that didn't do as much as I hoped, but... It's free damage. Whew. What an interesting moveset. Do not grab me. No grabs. No grabs. Ah. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Hmm. What do I even want to do? Guess I can do some more of this for fun. A little extra chip damage doesn't hurt. God, he's got another follow-up <laughs> that he does sometimes. What a cool enemy. And, ah, darn it, the fourth hit. Remember the fourth hit. Gracious. Giving me some trouble, bud. There we go. Yikes. Getting very shield broken right now. That's not what you want. No, no. Ah, come on. I almost had. I'm beating you today, buddy. We're not having this. Besides, you're too darn cool. All right. I think we got. Did we? No, we haven't done this yet. Okay. That first. And one of these. And we've got our, uh, blood sword attack. Dude, come on. Got our blood sword attack back. I have a good feeling. And I will wait as long as I have to. All right. Bring it. Let's see how this works. Pretty good. Very good. Ow. Didn't know that there was a follow-up to that. Woohoo. No. You've got too many cool moves, bud. Oh, no. Ah. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. The range, though. The range on display. Ow. One more of those and you're done, though. That is a very strong move. And you're done! Man! You're so cool. Can I have literally any of your stuff? Please? I mean... Heck, maybe that's all your stuff. Bone Peddler's Ball Bearing.
Berthal, or whatever your name is, did you see that? No? Hello? Um... Here, what if I park and come back? There you are. Dude! You missed some stuff, man. Ah, uh, hello. Glad to see you safe. That's sounding more sarcastic it's the more times you battle. say it. But thank you. Well... Until we meet again. You want to explain why this... You know what? You're not going to. All right, let's turn this uh, ball bearing in, because I want to see what I could get with it. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's go back to the round table real fast and hope there's no wacky surprises waiting for us. Uh, what did I just say? Hey, Inshaw of the Royal Remains. What did I literally just? Okay, okay, oh, you're getting some of this. I says, wait, no, some of this. You are in trouble. Assuming I get another one of those to land. Dude. Yeah, too quick for me, huh? All right, all right. There we go. Hey, um. Anyone home? Excuse me. What? What? Clinging bone. What happened? Hey! What happened? I'm so confused. What is this weapon? A uh, fist weapon. A horrific weapon made of a hardened skeletal arm, wielded by Insha of the Royal Remains. That's a new faction, I think. Fitted by placing one's hands into the fist's grips until they dig in. O clinging creature, a king relinquishes not the hand. Skill that... Uh, Lifesteal fist, a skill that demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. A slow, controlled punch with an energy-infused fist that renders foe unconscious and steals their HP. Only effective against foes of human build. Hey, uh, anyone see that? I don't even know who to blame anymore. Everyone good? I mean, good as... ever? Did anyone see that? You have returned. What is it? Useless. Now go for I will. Shut up. Did anyone else? Is anyone helpful out here? Anybody? Hey. Uh. Gah. Oh. Uh, okay. This is, um. Okay. Oh. Royal remains. Helm, armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Was that this guy this whole time? Alright, I'm starting to actually formulate some thoughts and theories. Insha, or whatever that that name was of that invader, was this character who's been sitting here watching me. And uh, this, I'm suspecting, is Gideon's muscle that Gideon's been sending out to do some nonsense. And now that Gideon sees me as an actual like contender and a threat... Uh, sent, it sent Inshaw to deal with me and probably steal the, uh, runes I have on me as well. Gideon, you and I are going to converse soon. After I read some descriptions. As a fellow reader, I'm sure you can appreciate the urgency. Uh, where did this stuff go? Here we are. The royal remains helm, graced with gold human bones, worn by the unspeaking adherent of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing, slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. It's said that the bones belong to an ancient lord, the soulless king, the lord of the lost and desperate, who was known as Insha. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. So if you're just wearing this, do you always have HP regen whenever you get hurt? Is that how it works? It said the bones belong to an ancient lord. Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. 
I mean, we can try equipping that for a little. Or maybe just, uh... Well, here, if we get that effect on, like, the Greaves, at least. If it, if... Yeah, they all get that effect, so... Sure. Interesting. All right. Boy, we really are kind of a stylistic mishmash right now. Maybe we should, uh... I'll have to figure out the fashion aspect of this later. It's a little less heavy, though, so hey. Let's do this for a little bit. Go for a little bit of intimidation when, uh... Gideon asks questions. Here's a bell bearing. What can I get from it? Tell me it's everything. Um. Can't remember if I could get bones before. Uh. Is it just bones? It can't just be bones. What am I not seeing here? I did give her the thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah, like it wouldn't go in either of these. Maybe? Okay, maybe I can just buy thin beast bones here if I want. Which is not terrible for, like, crafting purposes. Because I can make arrows and, uh, and, uh, like... Even, I think, ballista bolts from some of these. So, that ain't bad. They're kind of expensive, but that ain't bad. Uh, I just... Given the wild loadout that Invader came at me with, I was just kind of hoping I'd be able to get literally any of that cool stuff. But okay. Um, boy, there's just so much going on right now. Do you have any thoughts about the invasion thing? You probably don't. You probably don't care. I asked you not to do I remember... Everyone's so grumpy around here these days. Or dead. So hey. Journey to the capital, Landell. To the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. Don't you even try to the pretend. The will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring. I'm gonna... Really? Oh, he, about Encha. Here we go. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Encha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Encha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Is he? The way you... I mean, I thought that, but then the way you just said that really makes me feel like it's not true. I think I hate you, Gideon. I'm gonna kill you one day. Just letting you know. Enjoy your books. Okay. Uh, is everything else cool? Everybody. Roger is still gone. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, you guys better be all right. Good. Good. Are you still a little worried about? I can hear it from across the yeah. hall. You should keep. I know you. Should. It's got to be that other character, who I think is the dung eater. I think. Can't really check their name here, but it looked similar to what we were shown in the uh, intro cutscene art. Nefeli, are you still down here? Or have you moved on? Still down here. All right. All right. In this ash. Yep. It reminds me of my... Cool, cool. You guys are really no-selling this assassination attempt. That happened in a place where that's not supposed to be possible. Well, where have you been hiding? I took uh -huh. you for to lay out your own. All right. Fine, then. Nobody do anything while I'm gone. All right? Nothing. Okay. Boy, backtracking really feels <laughs> kind of like a <laughs> much smaller, a thing of much smaller importance now, but still probably worth doing a little bit. 
I really don't remember if I did this ever jail before. Let's, um, let's poke our head in and see. What was this? Oh, right. This is where I thought Deathbird was. This is not where Deathbird was. Deathbird is no more. Same with this. Let's clear these things so I quit confusing myself. We got this ever jail. We got this I still don't know what to do with. And we got this fight down here that is still actually a little intimidating. But first ever jail. Boy, quite a bit more eventful than you expect your average backtracking episode to go. But I guess I got no problem with that. So we're looking up here, are we? Yes. Did I even poke my head in this one? I don't remember if I did. Well, let's see about it. Hello. Really curious about this potential regen effect. Crucible Knight. Hey, you're like the knight I fought in the other place. Are you as hard as that one? Because if so, I'm a little nervous. You do seem to be about as hard as that one, actually. The health bar looks pretty similar. <laughs> okay. Interesting, though. I have a name for you now. Ow. Oh, jeez. Nope. Look out for the follow-up. <laughs> Got us last time. Alright, yes. Hey, what do you think of this? I see. Yeah, okay, guy. What is that? Okay. Whoa. Cool. When do I... What? When do I get to learn how to do that? Oh, boy. Yeah, bad timing on that attempt. Backstab. Oh, come on. Tried to roll. Didn't work. Hey, have one of these. Boom. Ah, oh, come on. He blocked it too good. Whoa. We're getting you. Boy, you're cool. I don't know if all of you are this cool, but you seem cool. Oh, the tail. A double attack on the tail, is it? Interesting. All right. I'm going to drink one of these if you don't mind. Now I'm going to hit you. Stop walking. Nah. Just out of range. Woo. Look out. Going in for the kill. Come on. Gotcha. Woo. A toughie. Yeah, I'd have had a hard time with this guy back in the day. Jeez. Yes. Aspects of the Crucible. That's new. Cool. What does it take to wield that? I bet it's a lot. Finally, someone dropping some cool stuff. Uh. So, yeah, that's going to be a spell for sure. Right? Aspects of the Crucible is a new category, though. It's just faith-based and 27, which is a ways off of what I got, but, like, not that far. It's so cool. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations. Ah, okay. Creates a supple tail that sweeps through foes before the caster. Charges enhance, uh, or charging enhances potency. This is a manifestation of the Erd Tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial Crucible where all life was once blended together. This is so cool, and there's... I've been in this game for so long now, and there's still so much that I've barely even scratched the surface on in terms of stuff to explore and fight and all that, but also in terms of, like, concepts to be introduced to. This is so exciting. Uh, that was way cooler than I expected it to be. Uh, for an Everjail in the first area. So... Oh, let's go fight this thing. Yeah. Uh... Where do we... I guess stranded... Well, yeah. Stranded graveyard. You know, I'm not that far off from a level, I don't think. 
let's go ahead and get it. There's a lot of runes to be carrying around into a scary fight. Uh, yeah. There we go. Da, 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 da. It's probably not enough. Oh, okay, that's enough. Now then. Decisions to make. We got 15 faith now, which ain't bad. That's given us access to a lot of good spells. I'm sure more... Well... I don't know how much more faith would impact the efficacy of a lot of those spells, because I'm using the... I'm using the, uh... Casting weapon that... Or the casting thing that scales with strength. And there are certain incantations that work best with it. I don't know how other cantations work scaling wise or whatever, but we've got enough to be able to cast some things, so that's that's pretty good to start. Uh, having some more mind would be nice. Having some more FP to work with. But some folks have also been very vocal about vigor. A bit excessively so, but uh, having a little bit more health wouldn't hurt nothing. So let's see. I definitely understand that I will need a lot more vigor before, by the time I reach later game challenges, but when I'm at a point when I'm really only dying to any given boss like two or three times, that's kind of a, what I would consider the norm for a soul's experience. So if, like, I'm, if I'm dying to uh, bosses three-ish or times on average who I've not fought before, Usually that suggests to me that I'm doing kind of all right in the health department. But uh, we are going to be heading into some new areas soon, though, so... Definitely wouldn't hurt to have a bit more right you. Hey, you don't one-shot me anymore. That's nice. Although... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> forgot how far up here you came. I forgot that... Um, I didn't think you were going to come all the way up the ramp. Oh, dear. All right, so about there is where you, uh, come to. Good to know. Now, let's see if we can remember our path. Is the drop-off to the left? I want to say it's to the left. All right, we follow. Run, 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 run. Uh... This will work as a safe spot, and then that one's too far, but uh, if we get a little further, we'll be in business. Eh, a little further still. I see ya. Probably could have run right there. Yeah, probably would have been a good window. Uh, this one's gonna be cutting it too close. We're fine. Go away. Yeah. Okay. So buy myself maximum time. I'm gonna wait till it turns around and goes up again. There we go. Now we go. Now we run. And hope we're fast enough. Yes. No. Now this thing's gonna chase us down here eventually. Yes, probably. Can't remember. Yeah. There's two routes. I don't remember if I went up this way. Where are you? Ah, you've pursued. Alright, how far do you go up this way? Oh, not very at all. Okay. Yikes. Oh. You go around. Interesting. Okay. Okay. How far? Should be enough time to get to another thing, then. Alright, go on. Go! Then you turn, and roll, and I go over here. Ah, oh, Jesus, a lot. Ah. 
And I'll just hide in here a little bit. Roll back. Oh, come on. Disagree. <laughs> Fine. Whew, this place is a doozy. A scary doozy. So it's still probably in pursuit. I am wondering how far I can go. Safely. Probably not much further. Let's get ourselves in here. Okay. And then defend. All right, good. How much further is that thing gonna go? Okay. Uh, all right, go. Go, 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 go. Where's a hidey hole? Okay, here we go. All right, what's up here? I've never come up here. The boss is further down, and we will contend with that soon enough. But what's up here? Hello. This is different. Uh. Are you, like, cool different, though? Or are you, like, mean different? Hello? Oh. Okay. Hey, guy. So what are you about? Not super sturdy, fortunately. That's a relief. Ow. Got a little greedy there. All right, settle down. Dragon Communion Seal, huh? Very interested in that. And... Not that as much, but... Huh. Is that a talisman? What was that? Oh, I still didn't read these. Uh, the Red Feathered Branch Sword raises attack power when HP is low, raises defense when HP is low. Oh, cool. A talisman adorned with red feathers once used in ancient death rituals. Uh, the heart sings when one draws close to death, and a glorious end awaits those who cling so tenaciously to life. Uh, so, yeah. The heart sings when one draws close to death, and thus does one cling so tenaciously to life to render up death worth offering. Interesting. And cool. The other thing, though, where's the other thing that I, that I got? Oh, are you a seal like the... Beast something seal. I've been... Yeah, the claw mark seal. Here we go. Uh, a formless drake blood seal with a dragon communion crest. Enhances dragon communion incantations. Cool. The sacrificial devouring of the heart gives power. Indeed, dragon communion's too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. The seal scales incantations with one's arcane attribute. And no skill on it. That's really interesting. Neat. All right. Well, let's make our way back slowly. Because now we got to run down to a boss that might just kill us. Yeah, I could probably run to the next one, but why risk it? What am I going to want for this next one? It looked sort of plant-based in a weird sort of way, so like fire could be good. I might equip something fiery. Maybe just some grease, you know? Whoop. Go. Man, this thing sucks. All right, we're going downstairs. I hope it works. Yeah. And now you just keep going. Yep. All right. All right. Probably should have started running sooner. Oh, geez. 
Ah. Okay, that's fine. I'm not dead. And that was a risky move. To be fair. Guessing blocking doesn't do anything. To protect me against that. Yeah, go. Find somewhere to hide. Here, maybe? Yep, that's gonna have to do. Oh boy. Okay. You don't come in here, do you? Nah. Alright. So, I recall in here being a little intense. Uh. So let's use one of these. I don't even know if we're gonna get a chance to get Aurelia out, but I will try. Uh, also... Yeah, let's, uh... Use a fire grease. Just in case that works out. Cast one of these. And we're good to go. Battle! Terrifying battle! Tree spirit, I knew it was something. Ah, you're so large and intimidating. And sturdy. Gracious. I can't even tell what's an attack and what's just you moving. Aurelia, help. I think that counted. I am getting eaten right now, though. Aurelia. Gracious. What is even going on with this thing? It's a nightmare. You're right, Aurelia. At least I can get in hits pretty easy. Oh boy. Yikes, what a nightmare of a thing. It's so cool though. Just also scary. Get in those hits quick. Look out. Oh boy. What happened? That thing's strong. Well, we've been going a bit long today. Let's go ahead and call it and I'll try fighting this thing first time next time. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a Lovely day, and I will see you Thursday for some more of this. Take care until then, and goodbye.